17, and it's time to take a look at your money here on Good Morning Quad Cities. Rising consumer prices have remained a challenge for many American households. Though the rate of inflation has declined from its peak of 9%, inflation still remains stubbornly high. In its most recent report, the Department of Labor is reporting the rate of inflation jumped higher from 3.2% up to 3.5%, which is a six-month high. And our financial advisor, Mark Ravicheski, is joining us live to talk more about this. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, David. Great to see you again. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, indeed. Well, what are your thoughts on the latest inflation report that was released last Wednesday? Last June, David, when inflation had declined, you know, down to 3.1 percent, you know, there was some hope that it would continue to decline uh, down to that ideal target rate of inflation of just 2 percent. We all want to get back to. Uh, but over the past nine months, David, those hopes have unfortunately quickly been dashed. Uh, that steady decline in the inflation rate from uh, June of 2022 to, to June of 2023 has basically hit a brick wall. Uh, in March, as you just pointed out, the, the national rate of inflation uh, jumped from 3.2 up to 3.5 percent. Uh, March was the 46th consecutive monthly rise in consumer prices. So, uh, you know, here we have this, this inflation problem, David, that it's well into its third year that just simply won't go away. Mm. And one of the areas most impacted by this inflation has been our everyday necessities, things that we can't go without. So are we starting to see any relief or moderation in those areas of spending? In some areas, we are, David, which is kind of good. But but to your point, one of the identifying hallmarks or, or characteristics, so to speak, of this, this current inflationary cycle is that one of the areas hardest hit by these rising consumer prices have been those everyday basic necessities. You think of your food and your, your clothing and shelter, uh, energy prices. Uh, now, over the past three years, food prices have risen a cumulative 21%. Cost of shelter, up 20%. Uh, but look at those energy prices. They've risen over the past three years, 31%. Now, to your point, over the past few months, we kind of have seen a little bit of moderation uh, in clothing and to some extent energy prices. Uh, however, it, it's those, you know, food and shelter costs we continue to see this, this steady upward pressure in. Uh, but because basic necessities have been one of the hardest hit in terms of rising prices, it, it does make it extremely difficult for consumers to, you know, try and navigate around these, these inflationary pressures. Uh, you know, these aren't what we call high-end luxury goods and services that, that consumers simply do, can do without. They need to buy these items to provide for themselves and their families. That's right. And with the ongoing conflict now between yeah. Israel and Palestine, and now also seeing expanded conflicts between Israel and Iran, What's the potential impact that we could see for us here with inflation? Yeah, well, look, when the Israel-Palestine conflict, you know, when it first broke out back in, in October, the initial consensus was that, okay, it's an isolated incident and wouldn't have much impact on, on either the U.S. economy or the global economy. Uh, but the big concern at the time was if this conflict then started to expand across you know the broader middle east region which is home to some of the the world's largest crude oil fields and and some of the world's largest oil producing producing nations uh and if this conflict now spreads to iran and and potentially other middle east countries this could quickly send crude oil prices much, much higher. Uh, over the past week or so, David, we, we've seen the price of, uh, of crude oil jump to a six-month high uh, of around $85 a barrel. But it, if crude oil prices continue to rise from $85 a barrel up to $90 or even $100, that could quickly send U.S. inflation surging even higher. And, and, and if consumers, businesses... Uh, manufacturers see this massive spike in energy prices, you need to ask yourself, to what extent does that start to negatively impact the direction of the American economy? 
There's definitely a lot of things we got to keep in mind there, Mark. Thank you again so much for your expertise this week, and we'll see you next Monday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Tax Day to you. Hope it went well. Happy Tax Day. Here's a